The area of the Mandelbrot set is finite. But what about its perimeter? Is it finite or infinite? I'll prove the answer to you in less than three minutes. As I mentioned in an earlier video, the Mandelbrot set is produced by repeatedly applying the function f of z equals z squared plus c and plotting the results on the complex number plane. We can use this same technique to approximate the perimeter. Except this time, instead of checking if the magnitude of f of z is less than or equal to 2, we will only check if the magnitude of f of z is equal to 2 at each iterative step. All the points that satisfy this will lie on the boundary of the Mandelbrot set. If we can then calculate the length of the curve that results, we will get an approximation of the perimeter. And once again, as the number of iterations increases, we will approach a better approximation to the true perimeter. Okay, so let's start the iterative process. After the first step, we only get the points that lie on a circle of radius two. The length of this is just the circumference, which is two pi times r, or four pi. Writing this as a decimal, we get 12.6. At the second iterative step, the approximation we get is 8.9. Taking two more steps, the perimeter seems to be getting smaller and we might hope that it will converge to some number, but this is deceiving. At the next step, the perimeter goes back up. And after this stage, it simply continues to get higher and higher. If you kept going, you would see that it continues to grow without bound. So the perimeter is infinite. And there is a very interesting reason why this occurs. If you consider the length of an ordinary curve and zoom in, the complexity of the curve does not change. This allows for smaller and smaller lines to approximate the true finite length of the curve. However, for the Mandelbrot set, no matter how far you zoom in, the complexity will always change. An inevitable consequence of this is that the more precision you have in your calculation, the larger the perimeter will be.